Hi, we're the Haynes family. We're Canadians. We're living where, where are we? Okay. <laughs> Hi, I, I'm Brian. This is my wife Dina and our little girl Drew. Hi. Uh, we live in Cuenca, Ecuador. Really happy to show you around. Hi, my name is Drew and I want to show you where we live. This is one of my favorite places to come. Okay, so we're going to take a few minutes now and show you some of the places where we like to shop and just like to hang out and relax uh, so you can get an idea of what uh, the area is like. Yeah, let's, let's show you how to do this. Sounds good, let's yeah. go. Cuenca is a city rich in culture and we really like to just walk around the city and make a stop here at the flower market, buy some flowers and then go to some of the other local shops. You've been, we've been in Ecuador now for two years. What are some of the things you like here in Cuenca? Well, I really like all the rivers, the bakeries, the parks, the ice cream shops. Nice. And why don't you tell us about some of the unusual things you've seen well, in Ecuador? Well, there's a few things. We see the poois on the, the guinea pigs on the sawhorses, and we also see the, the big pigs roasting. Okay. And so, you... what do people do with the guinea pigs? They eat them. <laughs> What's it taste like? Guinea pig! <laughs> so why would we move? Why did we sell everything and come back? Well, really was was a couple of reasons. One reason was that the cost of living for us was significantly lower than it was in Canada. So we had to work less. We needed to work less. So that means we had more time as a family. The other reason is we wanted to have more time with our daughter. So the, the change schedule of working less allows us to have more time as a family and we've been able to expose her to, to an amazing culture. Uh, she's bilingual now in Spanish and English. <laughs> and so she's, it's been an amazing, uh, amazing experience and we're just two years into it, so we, we're very excited. Uh, for work, we are bloggers, we're professional bloggers. Since we arrived, we've, we've learned that trade. And so now we run a couple of, of uh, blogs that we make a living. Her apartment was uh, a little different because we had to have everything translated because we didn't know any Spanish when we came. Uh -huh. So what was that like for you, hon? I was, was very handicapping. Handicapping. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was hard because we're so used to doing everything ourselves. When we arrived, we didn't, didn't have the ability to even to find an apartment and sign a lease. So it was, it was a real challenge, but we, we had a little bit of help from, from another expat who had been here for a couple of years. And the process really isn't that difficult, it's just a language hurdle. So we're able to sign a lease. Yeah, and we, uh, here we rent. Back in Canada we had a house and a backyard. But here what a lot of people do is they rent. And so um, the city has a lot of parks, a lot of green space. And so we really like to go out and go to the park and spend time here by the river and, and just look in the shops. And, yeah, we don't spend any time taking care of our our home. We don't have to repair anything or anything like that. So right. yeah, it gives, it gives us a lot more time. <laughs> right. So what makes us unique? Well, we live in Cuenca, which is is every year is, is listed as one of the top retirement cities in the world, and it's filled with retirees. And so we are one of the few families that are here, one that has young children, 